The differences between British English versus American English. English is one of the most widely spoken languages in the world, and you'll find it's more than one billion speakers just about everywhere. It's fun to note that scientists have even taken the English language to Antarctica. But there are two particular groups of English speakers we'll focus on in this article. And they are the ones who live on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. Or what the Brits like to call the pond. If you've enjoyed some British football, puzzled over a British biscuit, or just watched a little Peppa Pig with your kids recently, we probably won't surprise you when we say there are some key and noteworthy differences in how English functions in the United States versus the United Kingdom. Let's take a quick look at some fun and noteworthy examples of how English vocabulary, slang, spelling and pronunciation can vary depending on your location. British versus American words, vocabulary and slang. In general, most words mean the same thing in British and American English. For example, the words apple and chair refer to the same objects in both versions of English. For the most part, speakers of American English and British English won't have much trouble at all understanding one another when it comes to vocabulary. However, there are many examples of the same thing being referred to by different words, depending on if you are using American or British English. For a well-known example, British English uses the word football to refer to the sport that Americans know as soccer. For the sport that Americans know as football, Brits use the term American football. This is far from the only example, though. Here are just a few more examples of two different words being used to refer to the same thing. A. French fries slash fries, American, versus chips, British. B. Cotton candy, American, versus candy floss, British. C. Apartment, American, versus flat, British. D. Garbage, American, versus rubbish, British. E. Cookie, American, versus biscuit, British. F. Green thumb, American, versus green, fingers, British. G. Parking lot, American, versus car park, British. H. Pants, American, versus trousers, British. I. Windshield, American, versus windscreen, British. We can find similar examples when we look at slang words. Sometimes, different slang words are used in American and British English to refer to the same things. A wad of mucus, booger, American, versus buggy, British. A man, dude, American, versus bloke, British. 3. Very good, awesome, American, versus ace, British. 4. To chat, shoot the breeze, American, versus chinwag, British. 5. An infantry soldier, grunt, American, versus squaddy, British. 6. A toilet, John, American, versus Lou, British. 7. An anonymous man, John Doe, American, versus John Smith, British. 8. To waste time, lollygag, American, versus faffabout, British. Finally, both American and British English have words that are used exclusively. For example, American English has words like bayou and cleats for which there is no British equivalent. On the other side, British English uses terms like bunce, niff, and jiggery pokery that don't really have American equivalents. British versus American spelling. Generally speaking, most English words are spelled the same in American and British English. However, there are some notable spelling patterns that are preferred. Depending on which form of English is used. Listed below are just some examples of spelling differences you may encounter. Our, British, versus or, American. Examples, color versus color, armor versus armor, flavor versus flavor. Eyes or eyes, British, versus only eyes, American. Examples, apologize versus apologize, fantasize versus fantasize, idolize versus idolize. Easy, British, 
versus Uzi, American. Examples, analyze versus analyze, paralyze versus paralyze. Doubling the L in a verb conjugation, British, versus keeping the single L, American. Examples, traveled versus traveled, labeling versus labeling. A, British, versus E, American. Examples, leukemia versus leukemia, pediatrics versus pediatrics. Ends, British, versus censor, American. Examples, defense versus defense. Only of, British, versus og or rogue, American. Examples, catalog versus catalog. Dialog versus dialog. Re, British, versus er, American. Examples, meter versus meter, luster versus luster. In addition to these common patterns, some specific words are spelled differently in American and British English. Some examples include airplane, the first in each pair is the common American term. And aeroplane, grey and grey, tire and tire, and mold and mold. British versus American pronunciation. Before we dive into pronunciation differences, we need to address the elephant in the room. Yes, we know both the United States and the United Kingdom have many. Many different accents and dialects that are spoken in their respective countries. In particular, most, but not all, American accents are rhotic whereas most, but not all. British accents are non-rhotic. This means that most Americans will pronounce the R in certain syllables. While most Brits will not, as in the word number, pronounced as numbu by a non-rhotic speaker. Additionally, even Americans and Brits with the same accent or dialect may pronounce a word differently. Ask some of your friends how they pronounce New Orleans and you'll probably get a quick example of this. All of that being said, there are many words that, in general, are often pronounced differently by many speakers of British English and American English. Some of these different pronunciations are less dramatic. Here are some examples of words that have relatively minor pronunciation differences. Advertisement American, advertisement British, advertisement Mall American, mall British, mal Missile American, missile British, misahile Dynasty American, dynasty British, dynasty. Baboon, American, baboon, British, baboon. Other words have much more dramatic pronunciation differences. Some examples include Zebra, American, zebra, British, zebra. Figure, American, figure, British, Fiji. Sloth, American, sloth, British, sloth. Schedule, American, schedule or schedule, British, schedule or schedule. And we'll finish with an especially strange one. Lieutenant, American, lieutenant, British, lieutenant. As you can see, English can change quite a bit when going from Big Ben to the Big Apple. We merely scratched the surface, and there are tons more differences to be found. But you can test yourself on the nuances you've learned here with practice. You may want to keep an eye out the next time you check out a word or phrase in the dictionary. Because you might just discover a new difference in American and British English you didn't even know about. This is the end of video session. Please subscribe to this channel, for advanced video. Thank you.